it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. Well, excuse me. So today I'm going to be playing in this new little glue book that I made. And I made it this weekend and I made it out of these Dollar Tree treat bags. And I have these treat bags, which I did not realize are bigger than these treat bags that I bought there. So the one that says 10 are smaller. That's what I made this out of. And these are, you get eight and they're just a tad bit bigger, but they are super fun to make and turn into a journal or a glue book or scrapbook, whatever you want to call it. So you open it up. I added some Velcro and here I have a little pocket and then I have just one signature of colorful paper. Um, these solid sheets are from the Dollar Tree as well. They have colored computer paper now. And then I made these little, um, with the little cloud paper that was right here. And then the hot air balloon, which is this, I put those on my middle signature. So yeah, it's just really cute, really small. Um, I could add another pocket back here and then, yeah. So there is my little glue book out of a paper bag. It's super easy to make. So I'll show you how I made the base of this real quick here. Let me see. So what I used was two of these smaller uh, bags from the Dollar Tree. So you can pick any kind of bag. You don't have to use the ones from the Dollar Tree, but hello, it's such a good deal. Um, so yeah, let me show you. Oh, I just, and I love the way this feels. It's very solid and just, I don't know, really nice. I like it a lot. So in fact, I wish I knew that these were, I didn't realize when I went back and got more that these were smaller. Okay, so two bags. First things first, you open up your first bag. And what we're going to do is the crease that's on the side here, you just kind of want to pinch that and it'll start to fold. We're redirecting the paper here. Now there's two little corners right here that I just kind of pull up right here and that'll help me get those. Now that corner went in, so I'm going to take my little finger here and poke that. So there we have that side. And now you just pinch. I need this part to go flat. Yeah, that's flat enough. Okay. So there we go. So you have that. Now we're just going to repeat on the other side. So we're just taking the sides here. And instead of poking them in, we're poking them back out. And just take your time. It just takes a second to fiddle with the paper. Um, and then you have these two creases down here, which normally go out. But they're going to go in now. Again, just take my finger. That corner's not quite going the way I want it to. And then you fold this. Okay, so you got you have your bag here that is now flat. Okay, so your other bag, what you're going to do is chop off. Keep this bag the way it is. This bag, chop off this bottom part. You don't need it. Uh, you can save it and use it for a pocket or something else if you want. Lots of things you could do with that. So now we have this end. I'm going to cut off this raggedy part here. If you don't want, if you don't care about that, then don't worry about it. So I'm just cutting off that top part right now. Okay, so this is how it works for me the easiest. So I'm going to repeat that for you guys. So you guys know. Okay, so basically this piece right here is this piece. This is your, your flap to open and close. So this will then fold like this. So now there's there's your journal pocket, or this is your, so this, this you will glue down, but we will get there. Okay, so putting it together. I like to turn it this way, even though it's gonna go this way in the end. So right where that crease is, 
I'm going to put this on the edge of my cutting mat. And the reason why is because I can make sure that it's level and even. Okay. And then this one, you will open up, do the same thing, kind of press those open. They're inside right now. So we're pushing it up and then refolding that, that edge there to make it a bigger piece. Super, super easy. Okay, now this piece, I'm going to put inside this piece. I need to go this way. <laughs> I'm right-handed, so it makes it easier for me if I turn it this way. Okay, now turn it back around. Okay, so now we have this piece in here. And the reason why I use my cutting mat for the measuring part for this is because this can kind of move this way and this way, and then it won't be even. So line your, your, your first bag up with this folded because you want it at the crease. Okay, and then I made mine so that my width of my book was five and three quarters, five and three quarters. So I wanna make my bag 11 and a half inches long. So now I'm going to, after I have this lined up, I'm gonna take this paper and I'm gonna move it till it gets to 11 and a half inches on the mat. And by laying it like this, you can make sure that it's straight, the bag is straight. And now I have my bag at 11 and a half inches. So I'm going to hold it there. And I'm going to take some glue and put it inside here. Okay, so we have the glue on there. I'm just giving it a little press. Now I'm just going to gently flip it over and then add glue in here again, holding onto the bag because I don't want it to shift and just add some glue. This is just to keep it in place while we add our papers on top and keep it together. It's okay if it's not fully, fully glued there because we're gonna add papers on top and that will help seal it. Okay, so we're just creasing our papers, making sure that glue is on there, giving it a second to dry. Okay, so now, well, let's glue this down because that's annoying. Gluing. There we go. Okay. All right. So here's our flap. And then to close it, I opted to close this. I thought at first I could leave it a pocket, but once I added papers on the outside, it made it too rigid and it would be way too hard to get papers or images in and out. So I just close that open end shut and then you will gently fold this in. And I didn't go all the way to the crease mark. Um, I went maybe just like an eighth of an inch below that just because it makes it easier for the book to close if it's not right wedged up against that uh, bending area there, folded area. Okay, so I just fold it over like so, and then I'm going to give it a crease. And then here is the base for this book. Now, all I did now was add a uh, scrapbook paper on the top and on the sides here. And on the inside, I added a pocket. I added scrapbook paper back here and in the back. And that's what made this so sturdy. So it's super easy. Now for my papers on the ends, like this part, I, let me make sure this is the same size. They're not all created equal. Obviously each bag is going to be a little different and a little off. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it's about five and a half. So I would go, and then this should be about six and a quarter. I one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Yeah. So I went five and a quarter by six and a quarter for these papers five and a quarter by six and a quarter. So that's how I made this little glue book. And then I also added Velcro, obviously. And then I sewed in my signature. All right, so that's your easy uh, little glue book there. Add some papers 
add paper here to cover all this and you will be good to go. So let's glue in my glue book now because that's exciting. And I thought I would use, I wanted to use, I'm going to use this book by Poor Toast. And I've been eyeing that giraffe. Where is that giraffe? Well, there's a lot of animals in here I've been eyeballing that I thought this would be the perfect size for a lot of these images. Ooh, I love that. But there's that one giraffe that I just keep looking at. Ooh, I really want to use that elephant too. Ooh, so with that, there it is. I've been eyeballing this guy. Okay, so let's cut a few things out. I really like this cupcake. So I want to cut that out right here. Okay, this one will be interesting to cut out. So how I cut out my images from inside my book is I put a, a small craft mat down there and then I use an X-Acto knife to cut it out. I feel like it's a lot easier than trying to wiggle your scissors around. I want. Okay. So I have these three things. I was thinking I could collage with these and just make a cute little glue page in here. I do have some more cutouts here from the other day. So I have a couple butterflies. Ooh, I have a rose. That might work good. Here's another butterfly and this flower. Yeah. Okay. So I need to cut these. So I will cut these out and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I also remembered that I have some of this paper left from Timu, this little 6x6 six six paper pad. So I thought maybe I'd use some of this. Which one do I like the best for what I'm doing? Um, I really love this one. It's just so cute. Okay. So we have this. So what I was thinking was... So I'd use some of that paper as like a background, but I don't know. I was kind of thinking about like, I don't know why that's just so stinking cute to me. It just really is. That's kind of what I was thinking. So let's, I mean, ooh, should I do it on the sprinkles? So there's, that's kind of cute, right? I think I'm going to start with just this. That looks really cute to me and I really like it. And then if I want to add more to the page later, I can, or do I want to take this and kind of frame a page and then put these? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Let's look again real quick. Let's see. Ooh, the light green might look good with this. So I was thinking I could cut this. So it was kind of like a little, okay, that's cute. Okay, so this is six by six. Let's cut off three quarters of an inch. Let me see, did I cut too much? Probably need to cut more. I kind of like it like that. Okay, let's leave it as is. I have this little piece I can save for I don't know what. Oh no, I don't have a glue stick. What? How do I not have a glue stick? There we go. I did want it a little bit more even, but that's okay because I'm putting this stuff down here anyway. So like that and then put a little strawberry or I could keep it up here, not on the green part. No, I like that on the green part. Okay, here we go. We're gluing. It's happening. There we go. Put the little straw down. Little strawberry cupcake. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with strawberries. Here we go. Let's put this one down. Oh, that's too stinking cute for words. I did have this and I was contemplating putting that down. Should I put a butterfly? I don't think I want to. I think I will just 
I have this little tiny dog. If there was just this little tiny dog sitting right here. Do I like that? Ugh, this bothers me down here now. I wish I didn't do that. I feel like something needs to go right there. I'm just going to put this dog there. I feel like it wants to be there. So I'm going to fulfill its wishes and give it a home. With the cupcake. Oh, he's adorable. I am going to cut part of him off, though. Sorry, buddy. You have to do some cosmetic surgery here. Let's see. Oh, I cut my paper a little bit. I hate it when I do that. Okay, there's my cute little pup. He looks cute. He doesn't really match the whole situation, but I like it. Okay, that was cute. Now I need a spot for, I really liked this guy on those sprinkles. I thought that was really cute. I feel like his name is Sprinkles or something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to glue him down, but do I want to add like... I don't like either of those. What else do I have? Do I have anything else? Everything over here is really little because... I was working in that other little collage book. Oh, I have a little mushroom. No, no, no. Everything go away. Go away. Okay, I think I'm just going to add him and then figure it out from there. Because he's just too cute not to put on here. Oh my gosh. Too cute. So let's glue him down. I'm really embracing this thing where I put something down. And if I don't know what to put with it, I just wait. I wait till another day when I find something that I feel would fit there or I'm in a different headspace, I don't know. Um, I just feel like it works better for me to do that instead of push myself to make something I'm not happy with. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay. Oh, glob of glue. Hello. This is turning out to be the mon monday -est Monday ever. <laughs> nothing's going right oh man I wanted this down more uh, okay Whew. perfect okay let's cut that piece off oh he's adorable oh my gosh his name is definitely sprinkles I need to fix my glue stick Ugh. Does Sprinkles want a butterfly? I think Sprinkles does want a butterfly. That's cute. Yep. Sprinkles needs a friend. And this friend comes with wings. All right, here we go. Oh, that's too cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Do I want to add? I think I want to add a word to this one. Let's look at these. These are all from Timu. Um, let's go with like one of these. How about me and you stuck like glue? That is just too cute. Me and you. Me and you, stuck like glue. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I could add more things here too. I could add another. Could add like a little butterfly. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking here. But I do like this. I like this one a lot. did want to add something on the cover here so let's go back and find a cute little 
image for the cover. Maybe I should put one of my little pugs on here. That might be cute. Her maybe. Need something with maybe pink or teal. <laughs> I love her. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my pug cut out. So I was thinking I could put him like this. But I was wondering if I wanted to put like, should I put a flower behind him? Or leave it? I think I'll start with this. If I wanna add something else like up here or something, I can. Oh my gosh, he's too cute for words. Too cute for words. I wanted this book to be very whimsical. Just, you know, cute little creatures and critters and, I don't know, just cutesy and fun. Ah, gosh, I'm just getting blue everywhere today. What is my dilly? That is too cute. I could put like a snarky saying or something up here. Where are my snarks? All right, I'm going with this one. I'm going with this one. All right, I need to cut off some of the excess paper here. Let me guys, or let me guys, let me know if you guys would like for me to do uh, make another one of these books on camera tomorrow where I go through the whole process again, but actually make one all the way through. And I will totally make another one. Okay, this says confession, my yoga pants have never been to yoga. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, I'm going to go around these with a marker. Or maybe I'll just underline it. Let me see if I like that first. If I just underline it. Confession. My yoga pants have never... No, I think I need to go around the whole thing. There we go. Confession. My yoga pants have never been to yoga. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Should I put a little butterfly or something there? A little, hello, no. <laughs> oh, I wanna put something here, but I don't know what. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. All right, okay guys, so definitely let me know if you want me to make one of these on camera tomorrow. I think these are super cute. I do wanna go around this one though, I think with my, my pen as well, just so they kind of stick out a little bit. Or maybe I'll just underline. I said that about the last one and then I didn't underline it. I went around the whole thing, but let's just see. I think I'll just leave it underlined. Me and you, stuck like glue. That's so cute. And then this one, and I think I'll add something later. But yeah, this was super fun. Um, let me see, how many papers did I use? I think I used eight for my signature, so let's look. One, oh, that's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I used eight pieces of paper for my signature. So yes, definitely let me know if you want me to make one of these on camera tomorrow again. Um, if you guys totally got how I put this together and you don't need that, totally fine. I won't do a video, but let me know. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to drink your water. And I'm super excited to have a fun crafting week with you guys. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye friends.